Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So I'm here in the Li Shan showroom. I'm sure some of you have heard about this Li Shan brand. Uh, it's a Chinese brand, but one of the um, very famous brands that makes really nice luxury SUV cars. But I'm just going to show you the three main models they have. So they have the L7, L8 and L9. So I'm going to go on a walk around tour of the L9 to show you what the L9 looks like and all the functions that it has. And then I'll show you sneak peeks of the L7, which is right there, and the L8, which is right there. The front view of the, of the car, so they have these um, running lights, which doubles as an indicator when you are turning. And you have this light bar, data running light, running all through the front of the car uh, from side to side, kind of like a C. And you have the brand in here as well. So Lee, which is the first name of the owner of the company. His full name is Lee Shan. And down here you have the headlamps. So they are mounted lower. And you have the um, parking sensors. You have some radiators in there for cooling. And uh, overall has a really nice ride height. And you have a camera here, a small camera which will do lots of um, reading of the road and all that. And if we go up top, you have the bonnet and you also have uh, radar sensors up there. There's an option that doesn't have the radar sensors, but this particular model has radar sensors. And you see your regular wipers out there. It's wipers are nothing really special. And if we start from the front, profile this is how it looks um you have the michelin it's been installed with michelin tires it's a 265 45 rim 21 and i think there's a 22 rim version as well you have cameras all around the vehicle you have some here one there one there all around the vehicle you have an indicator as on the um on the on the mirror and uh, this is a side profile of the vehicle very very huge very very long vehicle i don't have specs now i think these can be checked online so i'm just bringing you a walk around of the of the vehicle and it has these pop out handles so once the key is with you you can open it up and when you close the door it has soft closed doors so you don't even need to slam it soft close it closes on its own then you have very wide openings for the windows same for the rear seat we'll get it interior very soon uh, this is the rear wheel and right above the rear wheel is we have the ports for charging it's lit as well so that is electronic as well very big windows on the back and this is the boot area again you have some really nice brake lights or running lights running all around the back of the other vehicle so as you can see this is the biggest version the l9 right there and you have your parking sensors you have reflectors down there and overall looks really really good there's another light bar here as well for the brake lights and very wide windows. So these windows don't open independently. The rear window doesn't open independently. You also have a rear camera here, of course, for... So if I just open the tailgate, not the fastest, but it opens normally, at normal speed, your usual close and lock position button up there and here we have the boot area so this is the rear seats uh the very last seat on the back pushed down and how do you do it you have first of all let me talk about lighting so you have lights led lights on the both the left and the right you have a 12 volt socket here and you have these two buttons for lifting and putting down the very last seat. You don't have to do it manually. 
and you also have this button for raising and reducing the height of the vehicle for loading and unloading and i think it has a function where once you open the doors the car sort of goes down it dips for people to get in and once you start moving it rises okay so let's take a look at the boot so when the seats are up this is the boot space that you have left i don't have the figures but you have some tie down points here very very solid metal let's see what we have under here so we have a tow bar and some adapters and uh, your warning triangle and uh, some charging items here very small space here maybe for documents and flat items but on the whole this is what you have but when you pull down the, th the third row seats this is the amount of space you have very very wide and once you have those second row seats down you're gonna have even more space like I said I'm gonna go inside in a minute so let's just close this there um, boots and move on to uh, the interior I think that's enough of the um, oh before I go ahead let me just show you so it doesn't open now I think you can open from inside but this is a range extender vehicle so it has a 1.5 T engine for this big vehicle. But what's interesting is it's both electric and uh, engine. The purpose of the engine is to power, is to charge the batteries. So the car actually runs on battery power, but uh, the, it also has an engine that charges the batteries as you go along. And it's been tested many times and proved that this vehicle does about 1,100 kilometers in all situations. So it's a range extender vehicle and it's one of the best selling SUVs in China now because it is a range extender and it has so many functions for the price. I'll come to the price at the end of the video, but so far this is the, um, the extent, the, the, how the exterior looks like. So let's go inside and before we go inside you can see the doors open the same way but there's also a key here for those emergencies when electronics don't work and you want to get inside you can open manually with a key and as usual you have the um, uh, radar indicator blind spot monitor I should say so when you open the door this is what you you meet your usual controls here very nice aluminum um, door handles and you have your speaker grill which is also metal really nice feeling and this is the orange interior they have different interiors that you can spec your vehicle with and you have your usual controls here for tilt massage and all that that's not anything new but if we move into the vehicle, this is what the dash looks like. So there's a dash extending from here to that side. I don't know if it shows clearly, but the screen is very, very crisp. You know, when sometimes you sit in a vehicle and the screen, you're close to the screen and you kind of see all the pixels. No, this one is kind of like, this is iPad level. This is Tesla level screen. I dare say it kind of looks even much clearer and crispier than the that of the tesla so the passenger can be watching a movie while the car moves and the driver has all the controls here and interestingly there's another small screen here for quick um, menu for the driver so some of you can uh, change settings on this small screen and you also have hud if you can see it there so when you're driving you have layout of the road you have your basic information showing on there on the um, screen right there you have very big uh, wind outlets I'm feeling the cool air coming from there and you have your stock here for your turn signals and other wiper functions and on the right just like a mercedes-benz or many other new cars nowadays you have um, your gear selector right there and a parking from this button and you ha also have your shortcut menus right here 
Mm. <clears throat> in the middle you have your horn so overall quite nice design of the steering wheel now let's come to the top here you have speaker grill coming out of here and everything you touch is soft touch everything you touch even down here is it has some really thick felt and you have your controls right there open your engine from your engine from here your bonnet from there but everything you touch even below is very nice napa leather and you have the door extending really really low so on dirty days or rainy days you're not going to have dirt catching on to your your clothes and if we look at the center console you have two cup holders here and you have extra two here on the back I, i'm guessing for the passengers on the back as well but even the driver and the passenger if there's no passenger in the middle row seat the driver and the, if you have more drinks you can because it's not too far back you can actually put more bottles or cups there and if i just open this what do we have here we have very nicely lined with felt um compartment not very deep but very usable you have a light peeking through here and overall really high quality material got aluminum got aluminum here you got a usb type c you got uh usb a for different purposes very very nice overall and you have a small tray for your key to charging pads for two phones very very uh, ideal some cars have one so you have to fight with the passenger for the use of it but this one has two conveniently and overall a very nice middle console very usable middle console and you have buttons here on the passenger seat not on the driver's seat but on the passenger seat for moving the seat forwards and backwards and also moving the back rests forwards and backwards so the driver can do all these controls from here i usually don't like bright interiors of vehicles but this orange is kind of toned down i don't know how it's showing on the camera but i kind of like it and it has these very soft cushions on all the seats except the third row seat which will give your head and your neck some really comfortable support and i would as much as i would love to be driving this car i think the passenger will be the one enjoying the most and there is this very nice uh big nicely lined with felt very thick felt the glove box is very very usable and looking up here we have we have the headlights which are touch sensitive and you have your hazard light right here and you have a monitoring camera which can be closed off when not used and i can see some sensor flashing here so i believe it reads the mood of passengers and you have your usual uh, mirror and um, so if we just go to the menu look at how crisp this map is you have your driving information here you have your your um, weather report and uh, navigation directions your compass here and you have the map in here and I, I believe you can this car is so packed with so many functions it's unbelievable guys it is insane so for those who have been saying that Chinese products are not of high quality you, you just imagine what you get in one single car and compared to what you get in other famous brands this brand Lishan and uh, Neo, another brand called Neo, these are the two famous brands in China and they're doing amazing things. So you might not just want to write Chinese cars off, you might want to take a look at them and see if it's something that uh, you might want to uh, consider. I'll take you to the back in a moment. You have airbag all over the place. Uh, so safety wise, you can be sure that you're going to be really protected in this car and just like german cars there is this 
pocket here for a wallet or some coins or some other receipts or something like that also nice very deep and nicely lined with felt and down here you have very large spaces in the compartment the outer part is lined with felt but the inner part is plastic but it's very nice bouncy plastic so you're not going to have things rattling around and you have very nice door seals which closes off uh, any sound and you have and the windows are double glaze with some sort of sound dampening material in the middle I don't know if it shows clearly but you can clearly see that in the middle there's some material in there to uh, stop noise from coming in so that's really really nice again soft closed doors really really elegantly very very nice design now let's go to the back seat and I'll show you something very interesting again yes these doors run all the way down and so even if the car is dirty on a rainy day you're not going to have any dirt touching your pants when you try to get in and get out and I'm not sure if this is a running board for getting into the car but there's really no need because the car goes down when you're getting in so you don't really need that so yeah this is a um, very spacious back and you have lots of adjustments as well you have isofix points right here look at the amount of seat for a rear for a middle seat and look at the space guys I'm 100 183 centimeters tall and look at the amount of space I still have left you have this plain style door pockets for storing your items and on the side the middle part of this of the middle seat you have these two pockets for slotting your phones in which will come in really handy and seats are really really comfortable the head rates are so supportive you have grab handles here this car has 23 speakers 2000 i don't remember but he, i think he said 2000 something watts of power from the speakers coming out of 23 speakers and up here you have some sort of a sensor flashing if you can see you can see with a naked eye but it shows on the camera so that's also to read and see if there are passengers in the back. You have some speaker grills coming out of here. And you have a, a screen. I'm not sure about the size, but it's very, very crisp. So, and it's so very well mounted. So the middle passengers and the third row passengers are going to be able to enjoy themselves while they're enjoying their ride. You have some air vents coming from here. Touch sensitive lights as usual. So if you can see my hand my hand is right here so with your hand you can actually control i don't know how it's done but you could see the cursor on the screen when i did it earlier so with your hand you can actually yes so if you can see i'm basically just controlling the vehicle with my my hand which is which is amazing so I've just selected something to watch and you can see how crisp it is this is really really amazing guys so and on the and in the middle you have controls here as well for the rear passengers there is a 60 watt type C charging port on the left and another 60 watt charging port on the right and you have the controls here for the middle passengers the L9 has a fridge the L7 has a fridge as well and it's just amazing guys you can control the temperature the mil the infotainment system it's it's insane I mean and if I just move to the other seat what we have here so when you press this button you don't have it behind the driver but on the other seat when you press this you have an airplane style very solid s-class level sort of table you can actually work on this it's very steady as well you can work on it with your laptop your ipad or maybe even have a meal on it just move your seat forward and then you can eat here as well 
This car has, this car just blows my mind. You have a sunroof for the front passengers and because of the screen, they've had to uh, break it off here. But after that, you have another panoramic roof all the way to the back. And I can just push this back and look at the space, guys. You have vents, vents down there. And for safety, you have so much space between you and the door. And, but you still feel comfortable. You can place your hands here and enjoy the drive. Now, this is a six seater. It's not a bench seat. So there is a very nice opening here to go to the back. And then down here, you have a 220 AC plug here and you have some vents here as well. Maybe it's a little dark. And how do we raise this seat? If we come to the back here, I can pull it. And once I pull it, you see the chair going up. And can and this one you have to and the headrest you have to do by 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 hand. Right. But you also have heater seats on the rear seat and you have another type C port right here and you have some ventilation here as well. On the back you still have some ventilation vents and you have uh, lights touch sensitive as well and I can lift this one as well so it goes up automatically and you have again type C port you have your button for lifting and dropping and you have some heated a heater seat button as well and I must say that these are captain's chairs so you can adjust them and get comfortable so it's not just your hand to on the side of a door that's comfortable but your hand on the left as well or on the right depending on which seat you are on is supported and let me just jump to the back whilst i go to the back let's see this airbags all around the vehicle this is crazy what you get with this car so yes an adult can even feel comfortable here because as you're aware, I pulled the seat, the seat was way back, but when you just move it, if the middle seat or the second row seat forward a little bit, uh, which might still be enough for the passenger sitting there, I will have enough space to be able to sit here as an adult. On the back and on the seat size, no problem at all. Just need this seat to go forward a little bit and I'll be very, very comfortable. And here you have cap holders, you have a place for your phone. So an adult or two adults can actually sit here comfortably for a very long journey. Very nice lining everywhere. Everything you touch just feels so good. Minus these plastics here, but every other thing you touch, it just feels so luxurious and so good. Leather, Napa leather everywhere in this vehicle then you have your rear window so if you are in the back seat this is your view from the back seat And it's in this lovely green color. I'm not a fan of dark green colors, but this looks really different and really amazing. All right, guys, so another walk around of the vehicle. Enjoy what you're seeing.
if you have the money and the means this is a must have currently this car is only sold in china so he told me that the prices are between three hundred thousand and five hundred thousand chinese rmb depending on which model you pick and what specs you have in your particular choice and these are all the colors you can have this car in so you have this gray here and you have the green which is the l line that i just looked at and you have the this blue which is the l the l8 and you have all these other color combinations that you can choose from and when you come to the interior you can get all these interiors so you have this brown this orange and this beige or white but yeah this is the l9 and i'll just quickly show you the l8 so this is the l8 virtually almost the same design but the l9 is the biggest it has um, some size advantages and i'll just take you around the l l8 so the l8 this particular one has this beige interior which looks the setup looks very very similar to that of the l9 but there are a few things that the l8 doesn't have i don't know the exact differences yet so this is the l8 very similar design to the l9 slightly smaller but from the look of it from the outside it looks very very similar but there are a few differences and this is the L7 the smaller version so the L7 only has uh, five seats and it looks more like a standard SUV but it, it it looks really really nice as well in my opinion the L7 is a much nicer looking SUV but in terms of usability and speed, the L8 and L9 take the win. So yeah, we'll just take a quick look. Most of the functions and features and aesthetics are the same with the exception of a few differences. Even though it's just a five seater, it has a fridge as well. And it's just five, five seats. But so it means it has a bigger boot uh, for people who just need a five-seater vehicle let's see if it's soft door closing oh it is soft closed doors as well so basically you're getting everything just like the other ones the main difference here will be the boot space which has a much bigger boot space Hello. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so thank you so much for coming along i'm truly grateful if you are new to this channel do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and i hope you enjoy this walking tour of these amazing suvs that are coming out of china now Li Shan is one of the famous and most reliable brands and luxurious brands that is coming out of China these days. It's a ring extender vehicle that is catching on really, really well here in China. And there are some foreigners who are buying and shipping outside as well. So if you're interested in this car, visit their website and uh, have a look and see if it's a car that you'd be interested in. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm truly grateful. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel together. So I see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.